Works Tractors. If you haven't checked out our website, goodworkstractors.com, make sure you go ahead and do so. Also, subscribe below to our channel. We'd love to have you tag along. We post updates of our inventory, whether it's attachments or tractors, on a regular basis. Do comparison videos, walk arounds, show the tractors in action, and so on. Thanks for joining us again. Today we are going to go over our latest uh, batch of attachments that we have in stock right now. If you see something here and it happens to sell, we can get it uh, ordered for you. We can ship many of these items across the country. We can also um, order different sizes. If you see something here and you want a different size, make sure you let us know. So we'll go ahead and start back here with our 72 inch finish mowers. Uh, these are going to be a Tar River brand as many of our attachments are. They're out of North Carolina. 72 inch finish mower, uh, chain guards on the back, slip clutch, very popular item here. This here is going to be a stump bucket, okay? It mounts onto the front of a John Deere style loader. We can get these for the skid steer style, which is on Kubota and many other manufacturers. Something this size I would recommend at least a 3 series at minimum, uh, potentially a 4 series or larger tr uh, tractor. Here's going to be one of the Tar River brush hogs that we have. We purchased these with slip clutches and chain guards on the front and back. So you can get them just open on the front and the back and with a shear pin and save some money that way too. You'll see a few in the distance there. We have five and six foot as well. Uh, seven and eight foot I believe are available also, but you have to go to a medium duty. These are going to be a standard duty. Here is a HLA 1500 series snow pusher. This black section on top is a bolted on back drag okay you see underneath here hard to see but there's a cutting edge there with the light shining through that's going to be a rubber cutting edge maybe we can see from the back side here i don't know yeah there it is that's our rubber cutting edge that's on the bottom there or scraping edge i should say uh, you can get either the rubber version or the steel version take your pick again this one here is set up for the john deere style of quick attach we can also get these in the skid steer style I believe the smallest size is 54 inches up to 7 foot right now. And then you have to go up to the next series, the HLA 2500. We do have a set of Artillion forks, okay? These are 42 inch tines on there. You'll see the um, clipped on um, headache rack here on the back, which is the black section here. Also included is a set of 24 inch tines. And then there's going to be a 2 inch receiver mount that can mount onto the frame as well. So you can hook up a uh, two inch receiver to that. All right, we do have a couple of grapples here. This is a 60 inch grapple. Again, this is set up for John Deere. We can get these in skid steer, quick attach. Back there, you'll see that's a 72 inch version of this grapple as well, okay? Three 16 inch steel plates on here. Very well made, very well constructed. Two separate cylinders on top there. I have one myself, these are great grapples. Here's some forks that we carry right here. These are going to be HLA brand. They're very nice, built very well. HLA makes good products. We've got these with 48 inch tines, but we can get 42s and 36. Again, these are set up for John Deere. This black version over here, which we can get in orange, is going to be set up for uh, your skid steer style. All right. 60 inch Frontier box blade, model BB2060. You'll see the one, two, three, four scarifiers. Those adjustable teeth there up and down. Box blades again are gonna have an inside blade there and an outside blade. These are both reversible. Here's the John Deere ballast box. I match compatible. If you fill this with concrete, it'll weigh close to 700 pounds. I think it's closer to 600 pounds if you fill with sand. So either way, a lot of weight there. 48 inch box blade here by Tower River. Again, all of our prices are on our website, so head on over to goodworkstractors.com to check it out. Here we have a, what is this, a six foot, I believe, yeah, six foot rear blade, okay. Everything we have is category one for your three point hitch. If it has a PTO on, it's going to be 540 RPM. Okay, here's a, here's a fertilizer or sand spreader. This is going to have the stainless um, mechanism inside there so if you were to use salt even it, it would resist rust and corrosion better. It's a poly um, uh, hopper there and this will hold roughly 1200 pounds maybe 1250 pounds so 
Again, it is PTO driven, so you can see the the nub there that's coming out is covered up in tape. But three point hitch mounted. We have a DR chipper here, three point hitch mounted, 540 RPM. We do have some parts here. These are going to be a, for a John Deere 2520. You'll see the uh, quick hitch and adapter bracket there, along with the PTO shaft. This would be for like a snow blower or, to, or a rotary broom. It does fit other, other models. Um, I can't think of what those are at the moment, but uh, I can look it up if you're interested. Here is a Frontier rotary tiller. Okay, this is going to be a four foot. I believe the model is an RT1149. Okay, slip clutch on here, chain drive. Great condition, barely used. It is iMatch compatible. A few more um, box blades over there. You can see the row of three. We have four and five foot. Six foot available as well. A couple more rear blades there. Okay. Here's a set of pallet forks. These are Frontier pallet forks. 42 inch tines on there. Another look at some of the um, rotary cutters we have. Popular item here. We sell a lot of these. Here's a Kubota snowblower. This snowblower has been sold, unfortunately, but give you a look at it here so you can see what they're all about. Quick hitch there as well. This does have the uh, PTO shaft and everything that's needed. You can see the hose is wrapped around the, the chute there. It does have the hydraulic chute rotation. Another set of pallet forks. These are Frontiers as well. Don't know the style, but they're slightly different. You can see the, uh, the rod that goes through there. Um, these will kind of sway you know as, as well they don't hold rigid um, if you're if you're angling down so the the bottom is not pinned on there it's just resting I, honestly I don't know the application but maybe somebody can enlighten me we have a 54 inch snow blower here for John Deere with the quick hitch and all parts that are needed this is gonna fit a 1 series tractor like a 1023 1025 1026 great shape all around beautiful we have a really nice Frontier 7-foot um, blade. Let's see, the model is RB2184. Barely used. Super heavy duty. Over here, we've got a 50-inch uh, tiller by Tower River, okay? This is a great price point. Better quality tiller than a lot of those uh, Farm and Fleet type stores out there. Again, these are made in North Carolina. All right, has a built-in parking stand there, pretty nice. A couple more items over here real quick, we'll show you. See over here is a 72 inch tiller, a nominal, it might actually be 73 or 74 inches, but uh, very popular item here, heavy duty. It's gonna be over a thousand dollars cheaper than a um, Land Pride or a Frontier or a John Deere. Built very well. Again, category one, three point hitch. 540 RPM rear PTO. Got the built in parking stand there. Beautiful piece of equipment. Oh, we do have a Cultipacker here. I believe it's 42 inches wide. That's a pull behind, okay. And last but not least, over here, we do have an MC519 material collection system. All right, it does have the chute. It's got the power flow set up for a 60 inch um, HC deck, like off of a John Deere X7 series, such as an X738, X739, X730, that kind of thing there, all those models. So again, thanks for taking a look at our uh, current attachment inventory. We do have some John Deere eye matches as well. And those brown boxes there are the aftermarket version of the quick hitch. Um, made by Tower River, so you'll see a video that we have comparing the iMatch and the uh, Tower River Quick Hitch on there too. So, thanks for watching. Make sure you check out GoodWorksTractors.com. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel below. Have a great day.